What did Fresh and Fit say? People are saying that uh, Fresh and Fit uh, is talking to Ethan or something, and they brought me up. What did they say? Why are you guys saying, oh, boy, oh, no? What did it's he say? too many to count in Walter's case. That's going to be fucking every, every day, multiple what times. Up? That's my boy. Uh, he barely has time to do the podcast. He's just he fucking on the way to work. He told me it's eight. You know why it's important to document yeah. things, Ethan? I'm doing I document jokes. everything so that when people make allegations, try to say you sexual. Wait, where is the? What did he say? I want to know. You guys are have, have multiple partners. I don't believe it. Well, you gonna know? You're not here in Miami. You don't see it. I don't know. I just, I just am telling you. We all so, fucking have girlfriends, Chris. So you, like four minutes back. The point is, though, Ethan, you don't know how we operate. You just assume because that's all you do. You assume. haven't. So Everything. you you've had sex with a thousand women, and then Myron, you've had sex with was it like four fifty or something about that? You had the no drama twenty twenty four New Year's resolution. Wait, what the fuck are you guys talking about? I just want to know what the fuck happened. Jesus Christ! Like, goddamn, dude. Can everybody fucking calm down? You guys literally have like a more severe psychological trauma reaction. Including my fucking moderation team. I'm interested. God damn it. Fucking calm down. The exact yeah. number. Like four. Yeah, four. it's like four four something. It's like you almost count one. each one. That's creepy. How's that creepy? You have like a kill list? Like what are you doing? You you dot you you catalog every woman you have sex with? You know, that's interesting because your partner Hassan sat down right next to a girl that cataloged the dick size, the amount of guys, the names. What does that have to do with me? That's other shit. Well, you partnered with him and did a podcast That's together, bro. I don't know. Wait, what? Bro, this is such a funny fucking line of argumentation. It's like, how do they know this? This is like behind a paywall about extra Emily. That's crazy. These motherfuckers are in the paywall of the fear and podcast is a different is my other podcast. That is so crazy, dude. Your partner sat next to a girl who did this. Like your former podcast co-host sat next to a girl on his other podcast behind a paywall and listened to a girl saying she has cataloged who she has had sex with. That's a crazy fucking, that's a crazy thing to say. Oh, anything about that girl. I don't give a fuck. Your friend. And you want to it's call weird. me? Anthony. Yeah. You know what? It's weird what she did. That's weird. Uh, but no. you partnered with that guy, right? No. That's your friend. Well, he that's didn't do friend. it. She did. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's it. That's the end of the fucking drama. Hello? Uh, if he did it, it'd be weird. Check her on if it he did all. it, if she did it, it... I do not. I do not do that, by the way. But, like... But, ultimately, like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Also, I think there might be an order of magnitude at play here. Yeah. It'd be weird. If fucking uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln did it, it'd be weird. If uh, you know okay. what I mean, if Myron Gaines catalogs 400, bro, the gotchas are so funny. This doesn't even, dude, dude, how is this a gotcha? How, how that's not even a gotcha. It's like, yeah, dude, you interviewed, you interviewed someone who talked about like how they had a, a, a ranking for the people that they had had sex with. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 it's not even dude ethan's level of separation with that okay ethan's level of separation with what these guys are suggesting is like as far removed as like joe biden okay <laughs> what the fuck you know how people say you're seven degrees removed from like any human being on the planet that's three degrees that's half of the degrees what the fuck? That's an insane thing to say. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. In 47. I mean, how long is that list? You got like a whole fucking Torah scroll of girls you fuck. That's crazy. Hey man, you right. whip I'm it out like a cartoon like character and let it roll across the floor. Like that other girl and your partner was totally cool with that. <laughs> By the way, he's even more critical of Israel than me. And you don't call him. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude. Wait, what? Israel? <laughs> Bro said extra Emily in Israel. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit, you scared the fuck out of me, big dog. What the hell? 
Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Ethan and I famously never disagreed on Israel. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hey, I'm anti-Semitic, do you? Well, Andrew, yeah, he's... he's that's your friend. Yeah, Matter of fact, that's he, why I don't do the podcast no more. Because he was critical of you being a super well, Zionist. It might surprise you to know, but being against Israel doesn't make you anti-Semitic. Really? Really? When did I mention Israel? Next thing he'll say, you have a house. He'll be like, yeah, you're... I was surprised for a second, but fresh and fit, being the anti-Semitic type of anti-Israeli. Why are you surprised about that? They are literally wrong on everything. Is it even remarkably shocking to you that they would also be wrong on the Israel issue as well? Yeah. Like... Ethan showed clips of them denying the Holocaust numbers with Nick and they're deflecting his anti-Semitic claims with the straw man. Exactly. If you are trying to utilize the Palestinian plight to launder your bigoted beliefs about Jewish people, you are not pro-Palestine. You are simply, you're, you're the most anti-Palestine. Okay? There is nothing more anti-Palestinian than being like, yeah, well, uh, let's talk about the Holocaust numbers, uh, actually. What, are, what else are they lying about? Like, no, you don't give a fuck. You care more about being a fucking Nazi piece of shit and the fraction of a crumb of a clout that you're going to get from being a Nazi piece of shit than you do about, like, you know, ending the bloodshed in Gaza. I hate these motherfuckers. I hate them so much. I didn't even mention Israel when I was accusing you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, because if you did mention Israel, you would know that that's what I'm critical of, not Jewish people. The yeah, is that what you were doing? You were being critical of Israel when you were talking about fucking Holocaust numbers? <laughs> hey guys, I'm just doing criticism of Israel by talking to an open out and about neo-Nazi and about how many victims of the Holocaust there actually are. Just simply criticizing Israel. You know, didn't exist at the time, by the way. Literally, as a country, didn't exist, but I was being critical of that. Nation of Israel is what I'm critical of. So now, so Hassan is an anti-Semitic? Cool, neither am I. And he says way more stuff than I do about that conflict. Yeah, because I talk about Israel. You are an anti-Semite. He's literally like, I love that he's just giving the game away right here. I don't know how Ethan is going to react to this, but I love that he's like, he's, he's so openly giving his game away. He's like, oh, well... He's way more critical of Israel than me. I've only talked about the Holocaust. <laughs> That's not being critical of Israel, you fucking idiot. That's just being an anti-Semite. What has he said about the movie Europa? What? what? Did you watch it? <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, okay. I mean, listen, I haven't read Mein Kampf, but I know it's not good. It's a wrap. Well, I have mean, you I read think... Mein Kampf? How do you know it's bad? Have I read Mein Kampf? Yeah. No, I haven't read then, it. Is Mein Kampf bad book? Is it? Well, I mean, I don't know. No, you tell us. Have you, you read it? Us. You should read it. Oh, yeah. It's, it? I mean, it's about Hitler. It's about Hitler's dreams of basically uh, uh, world domination and that Jews are the root of all the world's problems. It's a, pre Hitler. it's a prelude to the Holocaust. Did you read it? What do you, yeah, what do you think about no, it? No, I literally you... started this conversation by saying I haven't read it, Walter. So then what are we, th what are we talking about it? Okay. What the fuck? You have the you're like a goldfish, bro. I'm How are you a podcaster? No, I've been meaning to ask you this. Coconuts of too, all bro. the professions in the world, the fact that you're actually a podcaster blows my fucking mind. All I'm gonna say is if you're gonna call me anti-Semitic for being critical of Israel, then you gotta call your friend. I didn't criticize you for being saying one thing about Israel, man. You're conflating you being a neo-Nazi with being a critic of Israel. And it's Exactly. The fuck? Stupid. Well, that's what I'm critical of is Israel. So clearly I'm not anti-Semitic. Bro, 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 bro. Having Nicholas Fuentes on your fucking stream and agreeing with him or having a conversation with him about like how many Jews died in the Holocaust really is not a criticism of Israel at all. It's not. It has nothing to do with Israel. The fuck are you talking about? You're just straight up anti-Semitic and denying the Holocaust. Totally separate thing. Semitic by your logic. Like Israel did not exist at this point. What are we saying? Thanks. God, you are really <laughs> dense. I'm not dense at all. I'm just saying like. <clears throat> I don't even know. Okay, you got me. You got me, buddy.
So, okay. all right. What okay. So, so just because my girl packs my condom. So we're in an open relationship. I know you're saying like, that's uh, yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah, believe me. Why are you defending HGHD? You're right. I should be defending fresh and fit and on their endless journey of, of, uh, you know, advocating for the right things. This community is full of self-hating debate perverts. No, literally the very notion of attaching the Holocaust to the, uh, the, to the creation of Israel is inherently anti-Semitic. It is anti-Semitic when it is associated with the Zionist project, and it is infinitely more anti-Semitic when it is actually uh, talked about under the terms of the Jewish question. These guys are my biggest fans, dude. My most loyal fans. Uh, and how to have a long-term healthy relationship with a woman that you can call your wife and have a family with. How do you get a wife, Ethan? Bro, what? What is this argument? To okay, all right, all right, I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. Isn't Myron literally a Nazi like he's done streams with Fuentes and shit and hit the salute multiple times so it's not surprising he's anti-Semitic? Yikes. I remember why I'm not in this community anymore. The real cheese slayer. Goddamn, Hassan chat is psychotic. I think he means how people treat Ethan in chat. Yes. People are incredibly aggro. Incredibly. And they do not know how to fucking... Uh, they do not know how to, like, uh, position themselves and immediately go maximum output. That does have the capacity to push away Normans who are, like, unfamiliar with the comings and goings.